Hello and happy Football Friday. I'm Maria Marino in for Justine Ward. We're heading into the final weekend of competition for the Jets, who aren't playoff bound but want to keep building momentum for 2020. As for the Giants, they're not sniffing the playoffs, but coach Pat Shermer has a lot at stake in terms of job security. Here are three wise mentions for Eagles at Giants. Daniel Jones needs five passing touchdowns to break Baker Mayfield's rookie record for TD passes in a season. Eagles are five and eight against the spread as road favorites under Doug Peterson and Philly wins the NFC East with a win tie or Dallas lost to Washington. So how does Shermer feel about the chance to play spoiler? I think our mindset is to go out and win our last game. Uh, after that, um, we'll just see what happens. Okay, let's welcome in Dan Grassa. And Dan, I'm not sure a win will help Shermer's fate, but uh, it couldn't hurt, right? Yeah, I, th I think you got to look at the overall body of work, though, and that's what we're going to get into here in a second. Could be the final four quarters, Maria, for Pat Shermer patrolling the Giants' sidelines this week. That's for sure, Dan. Thank you. And it's time for the direct message with our NFL insider, Ralph Vacchiano, via Skype. And Ralph had reported that ownership is frustrated. So, Ralph, do you think Shermer is going to make it to the third year of his contract? I think it's a, a pretty good chance that he'll be fired by Monday. Wow. Well, what about the future of Dave Gettleman? And should one go without the other? I don't know that you can fairly evaluate him. And I don't think they want to turn over their entire organization. OK, so some more optimism there for Gettleman than Shermer. Ralph, thank you so much. You're welcome. Now to the Jets and three wise mentions as they visit the Bills. It's a battle of strengths on Sunday. The Jets overall rush defense is second in the league while Buffalo's rushing offense is fifth and the Jets want revenge after blowing a 16 nothing third quarter lead back in week one. But the Bills don't have much to play for as their playoff position is set ahead on the thread. The Nets had won the previous four meetings with the Knicks. But for what it's worth, yesterday was a different story. And the Saints have one of the league's best receivers. But due diligence has them looking at another one. And it would be controversial. Stick around for more. Start thread in the news. The Saints worked out a group of receivers that includes free agent Antonio Brown. He posted, then deleted a photo of his workout waiver on social media today. The visit appears to be unrelated to Michael Thomas, who's nursing a minor hand injury. Brown is being investigated under the NFL's personal conduct policy. Giants running back Saquon Barkley was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week after a franchise record 279 yards from scrimmage in the OT win over Washington last Sunday. The previous record of 276 all-purpose yards was set by Tiki Barber versus Philly in 2002. To the NBA, though our insider Ian Begley reports a few Knicks prefer to be traded. They managed a 94-82 win over current playoff team, the Nets, holding them to a league-wide season low 27% shooting last night. Julius Randle scored 33. Marcus Morris added 22. Here's Knicks interim coach Mike Miller. Our guys, we played with great energy. I thought we really had a great focus. They're a very good offensive team. I'll send it back to Dan and the guys now. Absolutely. Playoff tickets go on sale tomorrow, by the way, for the Knicks. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't go out and buy them. Our Survive at Five competition all comes down to this. Pete and I can keep the lead if we get a win, but if not, I don't even want to think about it. JJ or Rob can move to the top. Somehow, Pete and Rob made it this far without picking the Saints. Mm -hmm. Same for Julie and Maggie, who have the Patriots. And I'll be honest, you guys, I waited to the last possible minute to make this pick. I am nervous as anything. Week 17, slim pickings, right? You never know the motivation, how teams are going to fare. It's tough. I'm feeling confident. It's called strategy. That's how you end up with the Saints in week 17. Listen, I'm just going week to week. I give you credit. <laughs> strategy. I mean, I was grasping at straws trying to find a pick this week. We all were, but now some of those teams for better beware and those Jets are one point underdogs heading to Buffalo. Dan, like me, you think the Jets will get it done? I know the uh, Jets are going to get like it done. I mean, let's face it. The Buffalo Bills are going to be treating this one pretty much like a preseason I game. There is some meaning for the Jets to finish this season seven and nine. Well, guys, it's frightening that we're all on the same page. I mean, uh, maybe especially with the who's Jets. watching. And so ball. speaking of players resting, Pete, do you like Josh Allen to play over or under two and a half quarters in the game? There's no way he's seeing the second half in this game. I don't want to see him. Oh, I'm a little scared of Matt Barkley now or did Kyle Orton go. <laughs> coming back oh, or whatever God. it's going to be. But no, I, I don't think you're going to see a whole lot of Josh Allen. You're not going to see much of Josh. All right. I'm hoping you guys are right. Now to the Giants, who are four-point home dogs against the Eagles. Dan, what do you think? Oh, I think this is an Eagles game. JJ was saying it before. I like the Giants in this game. I don't even think you need the points. Eagles win. Eagles cover. 
seven to ten point margin. You know, Pete, it's not too late. If you want to change your survivor pick to the Giants, like it's it's totally oh, cool. He's trying he's to going out on him. Him. I'm I'm trying. Double day out this Let's victory. Go. All right. Yeah, uh, by the difference. way, Zach Ertz officially out. Yep. Um, and finally, JJ, let's talk Saquon Barkley. So he needs 89 rushing yards to reach 1,000 on the season. Who would have thought? I wouldn't have thought he would have been that close to it. Will he go over or under that mark? Maria, I'm going over. He's going to fall short of that 1,000 yards. Fabulous. Simple. To go out on a high, <laughs> just like you see with the Giants. Oh, wait. Fans of Shermer here. That's it. Well, it should be a good weekend. Still ahead on the thread, the college football playoff starts tomorrow. See who the guys are picking in each semifinal game. That's right after the break. Don't go anywhere. Clemson wins this one as well. Wow, we're all on the same page with Clemson. You How about on that? Board? I'm on board because I haven't watched a lot of college this year. I'll be honest. But she's Sunshine. on board. But she's I'm on, on board. board. Why not? Loud Mass is next. We'll see you back here Monday at 5. Be there.